one of my favorite uh, command line options that uh, that so many people don't know about, and it may be not always the most useful, but it's dash dash lib curl. So you mm. type a you know you make up your fancy curl command line, do whatever you want, mm -hmm. and then you add dash dash lib curl file name dot c, and do the same thing again. And then it will generate a template C code for doing the same thing okay. as a program. Then you just rebuild that linked with lib curl, and you have your own application that does that little thing that is cool program how many languages does that support can you do it in rust it supports c <laughs> it supports c <laughs> but, but, i knew you were going to say that but i had to ask anyway <laughs> it supports c but the good thing here is that most bindings for libcurl they use more or less inspired from the api yeah from libcurl themselves so it's usually fairly easy to translate that to all other languages if you're just using a libcurl binding mm-hmm no, that's super cool. So you could translate it easy to PHP or PyCurl or the other bindings. Now, why did you develop that one? What made you do that? Maybe because you were debugging somebody else's flags or something? Or That question is very common. I have this, I want to do this in libcurl. How do I do it? And usually a lot of users, they already know how to do it with the command line. Right. They just want to do that exact translation. And as I figured, well, curl knows this, so I could just, you know, just do the translation. I already do it, basically. I just have to also generate the code for it in, in text format and just output it. Yeah, It has cool. actually been very useful uh, many times to just show users and help users to get started. Yeah, sounds like a time saver for support. Yeah. Uh, of course, it doesn't actually produce a completely, in, in all cases, a replicant because there are details, but it's usually a very good template to get started with, at least. Then when you have that, you can get that going and then you start working from yeah. that.